G'day, I'm Pete from Precision. So, you've just bought yourself a flash new computer and on the side you see a little sticker that says 64-bit operating system. Woohoo! <laughs> but hang on, my old computer had a 32-bit operating system. What's the difference? Well, I'm pleased you asked, because I'm going to tell you. Okay, now I could bore you with all this technical jargon here. I can tell you that a 64-bit processor is capable of storing 264 computational processes, or values as they're called, including memory addresses, which means it's able to access over 4 billion times the data of a 32-bit processor. But hey, we're not going to worry about all that rubbish. I'm basically just going to explain it to you in simple terms. Now, 64-bit processors have been uh, released by the two major CPU manufacturers uh, in recent years, and most new computers are fitted with a 64-bit processor. Now, 64-bit processors are much faster and quite a bit more secure. Now, to get the full advantage of your 64-bit CPU, you will need a 64-bit operating system. Okay, so... What's the difference? Well, a 32-bit operating system, I'm talking about the Windows environment now, a 32-bit operating system will only recognise 3.2 gig of RAM. So if you're running a computer that only has, say, 4 gig of RAM, and you're happy enough with the speed, then your 32-bit operating system is fine. But if you want to run 8 gig or 16 gig or even 32 gig of RAM, then you're going to need a 64-bit operating system. Now, the good news is, is that if you do have a new computer and it's uh, fitted with a 64-bit processor and a 64-bit operating system, but you still have old 32-bit software and programs, most of these programs are backward compatible, which means most of them, the 32-bit operating, uh, the programs rather, will run on a 64-bit operating system. However, it will not work the other way around. So if you have an older machine with a 32-bit operating system and you want to run some software that is 64-bit, then uh, it's not going to work. Now, normally when you install a new operating system, it gives you the option to install either 32-bit or 64-bit. And I would encourage you every single time to install the 64-bit operating system. Okay, so basically the processors are more powerful, they're faster, and for certainly any of you out there that want to do anything that's high-end graphics like gaming, and uh, you know you want to use AutoCAD or some photo editing, let's say you're using Photoshop or something like that, then you will need plenty of RAM and a 64-bit processor and a 64-bit operating system. Now luckily, pretty much all new computers, even entry-level ones these days, uh, have all that 64-bit CPU and the 64-bit operating system. Okay, guys, I hope that's cleared it up for you. I've tried to keep it nice and simple. Sometimes we can get into a bit of geek speak or a bit of tech talk, which, uh, which does confuse some of you guys out there. Not all of you. I know some of you are fairly smart. As a matter of fact, some of you are probably quite a bit smarter than I am. God knows that wouldn't be hard. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope that's cleared it up for you. I'm Pete from Precision. Love yous. See you next time. What are you guys still doing here? The video's finished. Go on, run away. Don't forget to check out our website and our Facebook page. The links are down below. See ya.